870LE Agriculture and Fishery Arts Lesson 5 Care and Maintenance of Crops Content Standard for this lesson Demonstrate an understanding of the concepts and skills in agri-crops and animal production. The learning competencies discuss care and maintenance of crops. For the learning objectives of this lesson, first, define the concept of crop care and maintenance. Second, enumerate the practices involved in caring for crops. And third, demonstrate one crop care and maintenance practice correctly. Care and maintenance of crops, a continuation of our previous lesson. Agricultural practices in crop production. Material to be used, visual aids or PowerPoint presentation. Illustrations of crops and other lesson-related materials. Handouts or worksheets, television, or a projector. Procedure. Enter the preliminary activities. Let us start with a prayer. Followed by greetings, checking of attendance. And review of the previous lesson. From the previous lesson, share with the class the agricultural practice you selected and explain why you chose that specific crop production method. We're about to play a relay game focused on plant care. Are you ready? The objective of this game is to reinforce students' understanding of crop care practices through a fun, interactive relay game. We need small potted plants or illustrations of plant. Labels for tasks, for example, watering, weeding, fertilizing, pest control, pruning. Crops cutouts, small watering cans, trowels, pruning scissors, safe versions for classroom use, fertilizer packets, mock fertilizer, fake weeds, and pest illustrations, scoreboard, and timer. Set up a relay station for each crop care task around the classroom or an open space. Assign props and labels to each station. Divide the class into small teams, four to five members each. Each team will form a line at the starting point. Each team member will complete one crop care task before passing the turn to the next member. At the signal, the first member of each team starts their task and proceeds to the next station. The next team member continues with the following task until all stations are completed. Discuss the tasks completed and connect them to real-life plant care practices. Highlight the importance of each practice in ensuring healthy plants. Good day, everyone. Today, we are going to talk about something very important in agriculture, care and maintenance of crops. Imagine planting seeds and watching them grow into healthy plants that provide food for us and our families. But did you know that plants can't thrive on their own? Just like us, crops need proper care to grow strong and productive. This includes watering, weeding, fertilizing, protecting them from pests, and even trimming their branches. These tasks ensure that crops stay healthy and give us the best harvest possible. By the end of our lesson, you'll not only understand how to care for crops, but also see how these practices contribute to sustainable farming. Are you ready to learn and grow together? Care and Maintenance of Crops Weeding is the process of removing unwanted plants, or weeds, from a crop area. These weeds compete with crops for essential resources like sunlight, water, and nutrients, which can hinder the growth and productivity of the crops. Weeding is important because weeds take nutrients away from crops and they can harbor pests and diseases that might harm the crops. 
Too many weeds can block sunlight, preventing proper crop growth. It is important to weed regularly, especially when crops are still young and establishing their roots. You can use tools like a hoe or hands to remove weeds carefully. Avoid damaging the crop roots while removing the weeds. Cultivating involves loosening and turning the soil around plants to improve its condition and support healthy crop growth. This practice helps enhance soil aeration, ensures better water absorption, and allows roots to access nutrients more effectively. Watering is one of the most essential tasks in caring for crops. Water helps plants absorb nutrients from the soil, maintain their structure, and produce food through photosynthesis. Proper watering ensures that crops grow healthy and produce high yields. Overwatering can drown the roots, while underwatering can cause the plants to wilt or die. Water crops early in the morning or late in the afternoon to prevent water loss due to evaporation. Use techniques like drip irrigation or hand watering to ensure the soil absorbs water effectively without washing away nutrients. Irrigation is a process of supplying water to crops to ensure they receive enough moisture for healthy growth and productivity. It is especially important in areas with irregular rainfall or during dry seasons when natural water sources are insufficient. In crop production, various types of irrigation systems are used, including the drip system, sprinkler system, and surface system. Drip irrigation can save up to 70% more water compared to traditional irrigation methods while delivering nutrients directly to the plant roots. Irrigation dates back over 6,000 years, with ancient civilizations like Mesopotamia using canals and dikes to water their crops. Fertilizing is the process of adding nutrients to the soil to enhance crop growth and productivity. It ensures that plants receive the essential elements they need, such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, which might not be sufficiently available in the soil. Fertilizers are classified into two types, organic and inorganic both of which are vital for crop growth. Unlike inorganic fertilizers, organic fertilizers are naturally derived, eco-friendly and reduce the risk of water pollution when used properly. Using organic fertilizers helps reduce waste by recycling natural materials like food scraps, manure, and plant residues back into the soil. Mulching is the process of covering the soil around plants with a protective layer of organic materials. This practice helps conserve soil moisture, regulate temperature, suppress weed growth, and improve soil fertility as the mulch decomposes. Various mulching materials are used in crop production, including grass clippings, coconut husks, compost, dried leaves, and rice straw. Selecting the right mulching material depends on the crop's needs, the availability of materials, and environmental considerations. In organic farming, natural methods are used to control pests and prevent diseases, ensuring crops are healthy without relying on synthetic chemicals. Crop rotation, planting different crops in succession to disrupt pest and disease cycles. Intercropping, growing complementary plants together to deter pests, for example, planting marigolds near vegetables to repel insects. Proper spacing, ensuring adequate spacing to improve air circulation and reduce disease risks. Healthy soil management is key to strong crops, achieved by adding compost and organic matter to enrich nutrients and boost plant immunity. Proper irrigation prevents diseases like root rot by avoiding overwatering and using drip irrigation to keep leaves dry. 
Sanitation is also crucial. Removing infected plants and clearing debris helps stop the spread of harmful pathogens, ensuring healthier crops and better yields. Organic farming uses natural sprays and treatments to manage pests effectively. Neem oil works against a variety of pests, while garlic and chili sprays repel insects like aphids and beetles. Soap sprays are ideal for soft-bodied pests such as aphids and white flies. Additionally, plant-based extracts like pyrethrin from chrysanthemum flowers provide an eco-friendly solution for pest control. In this hands-on activity, which continues our garden plot project, you will gain practical experience in preparing soil, planting, and growing crops. This activity allows you to apply the concepts we've learned about plant care and maintenance, giving you a deeper understanding of the steps involved in successful crop cultivation. At the end of the project, each group will present a summary of your activities, detailing how you selected, planted, transplanted, weeded, watered, fertilized, and mulched your crops. You will also showcase the current condition of your plants and discuss any challenges you have faced, along with the solutions you implemented. Finally, groups will reflect on what you have learned about crop care and its importance in agriculture, emphasizing the practical skills and the knowledge gained throughout the project. For your assignment, write a short reflection on the importance of proper crop care and maintenance in ensuring food security and sustainability in your community.